hello guys welcome to youtube channel for mania so in today's video we are going to do the Atom 2 benchmark on the galaxy s20 versus the samsung galaxy s9 plus so guys this is the galaxy s9 plus 6 gb 64 gb in midnight black color the processor of the samsung galaxy s9 plus is exynos 9810 and then we have the latest Samsung Galaxy S20 which has the Exynos 990 processor and uh, this is the 8GB 128GB unit in cosmic grey color. So guys let's get started. So going in 3, 2, 1, go. Let's see. Almost pretty much same on the S9 Plus and the Galaxy S20. You can see. Nice. So, guys, the Galaxy S20 is a 6.2 inch display. You can see it's a 6.2 inch display. And it's very compact for men compared to the Galaxy S20 Plus and the S20 Ultra. It's 6.7 inch and 6.9 inch display. So, guys, after the Galaxy S10e, the Samsung Galaxy S20 was one of the best devices in the compact factor. Actually, you can able to use even with the one hand, actually. That's a great thing. And when paired up the One UI 2.0, one the samsung galaxy s20 is stunning and when compared to the galaxy s9 plus uh, it is also a 6.2 inch display and it's also nice display so uh, both are quality plus display but this guy is 120 hertz refresh rate versus 60 hertz on this one and the processor as i already told this is the exynos 990 versus 9810 processor from the galaxy s9 plus so it's pretty much smooth on both you can see And one more thing regarding the displays guys, so HDR10 certified display actually the Galaxy S9 Plus is an HDR10 certified display and uh, while it comes to the Galaxy S20 it's an HDR10 Plus certified display, actually HDR10 Plus means one of the best certifications regarding the, regarding given to the display accuracy and the display standard so HDR10 Plus is uh, ahead on the HDR10 so that's a bit advantage for that too. Then compared to the PPA and the resolution on displays, so the Galaxy S20 have a PPA of 563 PPA whereas come to the Galaxy S10 Plus it just have a 529 PPA you can see but at a glance both are standing PPA you can see both are going perfectly fine standing displays on both. You can see giving high graphics intensities apps for both can see now the Galaxy S10 Plus is uh, behind the Galaxy S20. Yes, actually I have already used the Galaxy S20 Ultra, uh, Snapdragon and uh, Exynos variants and actually I feel that the Galaxy S20 Ultra uh, Exynos is lagging behind uh, in some areas actually in terms of heavy gaming actually if you play PUBG for in the higher end settings for about one hour or more then you could see minor heating issues on the Galaxy S20 Ultra 6 no sweet but and the Snapdragon it handles perfectly even after one hour mark nearly two hours it still handles fine so that's a hype regarding the Ultra V Ultra's Snapdragon variant and uh, like as the Samsung Galaxy S10 S10 Plus the Galaxy S20 doesn't miss, miss much features of the Galaxy S20 Plus and the S20 Ultra because it's always shares the most features with the Galaxy S20 Plus and that missing is on the camera area actually it misses TOF camera actually TOF is a time of flight camera actually it's a depth detection in videos we, we short videos in cinematic mode and all we can see the depth detection video so that misses on the Galaxy S20 and on the S20 Plus and the S20 Ultra we do get a TOF camera so that's really nice and then compared to the other things uh, when compared to the Galaxy S20 Plus and the Ultra this guy is also supported 9 watts to worse wireless charging and uh, wireless charging too because always Samsung flagships are IP60 descent water resistant along with a nice displays and all and uh, then compared to the curves actually the galaxy s10 plus have much more significant curves the, on the galaxy s20 it's more like a bit curve actually we can say as no curve but still there is a minor uh, 
then in the display and the design so there's a minor strategy it doesn't have any sort of ancillary touches because of its uh display actually samsung introduced from the edge from the galaxy note edge onwards uh, and now nowadays every companies are began to follow the edge displays and samsung is always getting rid of the edge but actually the note 20 ultra could have edges as as per rumors and all let's see the specs is going on too high so guys the next one the next one that means on the fifth of the next month the galaxy s20 sorry the galaxy note 20 ultra is gonna be here and uh, let's see what can it offer but actually the same processor actually or uh, the different thought that uh, some exynos new variant or some enhanced exynos 990 would be there but actually uh, again to disappointment still uses exynos 990 and also if you take an example of s20 ultra with 100x zoom and actually samsung just uh, pushes down the uh, limits actually now it can only do up to 50x actually to be frank the galaxy s20 ultra is only capable of 50x because if if we go further after 50x or i will say maximum up to 60x it's perfectly fine but after 60x zooming it will almost have some minor minor bugs minor not bugs no minor softening issues and not some blurriness so it's perfect samsung made a perfect decision stick on to 50x because that delivers the perfect combination so that's really nice then it doesn't have that ugly space zoom and x marking and all and actually the mystic bronze color actually that's the one of the key color going going to be in the event because samsung fold 2 and uh, the galaxy beans the second generation third generation of buds and everything is going to be on the event so it's very much excited then the fold 2 oh will be there let's see then it's now let's go back to the s20 plus and the galaxy s10 plus on 78 and uh, the one on 80 percentage Eighty-two versus seventy-eight. We can see still a two-year-old flagship is still almost almost keeping in up with the latest flagship. That's an amazing thing to have. But on the next Samsung S series, it's gonna be a marginal difference because Samsung had made partnership with the AMD, one of the greatest chip manufacturer out there. Then it's gonna what we call actually let's uh, compare actually there are many comparisons regarding the uh, amd exynos versus the snapdragon latest version and uh, this exynos is much ahead of the snapdragon 865 or even we can say on ahead of the 875 itself so that's a great thing regarding that and samsung galaxy note 20s uh, abroad variants that means the us and china would have the uh, snapdragon 865 plus variant so that's the latest one so we only getting the global variant only getting the exynos uh, version exynos 990 version and all it's about to end on both let's see 88 actually if we look at the galaxy s20 at a, at a glance you can see it's almost the display actually i couldn't see uh, much bezels around you can see at a glance except the punch hole display everything is perfect at a glance see a, a tiny bottom chin versus a very tiny top chin fantastic about to end on both and the last stage on the galaxy s20 96 percentage Light is still going on 96 s9 plus is lagging behind and it's scored wow let's wait for the galaxy s9 plus to complete
or 96.2 actually this guy will be scored around as uh, we already seen at the first stage let's see 99 and it's about to yes wow nice so 3 lakh 97 thousand versus 3 lakh 15 thousand so guys uh, up to a marginal difference but still okay for a two-year-old device actually pretty much almost competing you can see and the displays rating ufx cpu you can see the difference a minor difference in gpu you can see actually in terms of gpu department actually this guy is ahead and uh, memory obviously this guy and ufx ux also this guy so guys that's all regarding the other two benchmark versus the samsung galaxy s9 plus versus the galaxy s20 so guys thank you